started a brand new FC account and in only 7 days built an insane team and took it from division 10 all the way into division 3. Now our goal was to make it into division 1, but with the new season beginning we were pushed back a couple of divisions making this goal that much harder to achieve. So in today's video we're going to be putting another 4 days of free progression onto our account with our goal being to beat the game by making it into the highest division. So a new season is here and we're going to need to progress in the season pass because there are some insane rewards. And with this new season came a bunch more objectives that we could complete to get XP, but while looking at these objectives I saw that for scoring 250 goals in the last video we had received a 100k pack. Our division 3 rivalry was also ready to claim but it was at this point when no way they just pushed me back to division 5. But before trying to progress further I went to open our packs and there were some insane cards in packs along with Williamson is so good looking man her card is so good looking and so hopefully we could get her in the first pack. First pack's going to be really bad the next two packs that I opened would be bad too but in the pack after this right back from Chelsea we just got Reese James he's 84 rated and that's a massive pull because at the time of recording there were some insane SPCs available and we were going to need high rated cards to complete them. Unfortunately in the next two packs we'd only get one player with decent rating but our final pack was the best one. This is our objective pack German centre mid from Barca. We just packed Gundogan and he's 86 rated which is really good. But what wasn't good was the fact that we could only build an 86 rated squad which wasn't even enough to complete one of the squads for any of the player SPCs. Oh, because the season had reset and we were pushed back in divisions at this point I decided to enter into division rivals to see how far we could make it with the team that we currently had. But I would notice a massive problem early on. Udogi was just too slow. No, our defenders aren't doing anything and we concede. And after conceding, I would try to score, but it just felt like we were missing something in the attack too. Udogi, you need to get there. No, he finds his Madison and we couldn't close him down. But this was only Division 5 and so we needed to be able to win at this level. Son, this guy's gonna have to carry this team. But with him and Rashford being the only two good attackers that we seem to have and the only attackers that were posing a threat, we weren't capable of scoring a goal in this game and we'd end up losing it, making me realize that if I wanted to make it into the highest division, we had a lot of work that we needed to do. So we need help in the attack, and with 5 star skills, costing only 69,000 coins, Dembele is the right player for this position. I also wanted to replace Udogi, and for this position, I wanted to purchase Theo Hernandez, but because both of these players costed a decent amount of coins, and we weren't necessarily close to being able to afford any, we needed to make coins fast. So from our rival rewards, we got a lot of low rated gold cards, and we can use them to complete the market matchups, and because you get tradable packs back from this, we can convert those untradable items into coins. And so using the items that we packed, I would start to complete the market matchups SPC, and the items that we had was enough to allow me to complete the entire thing. I would then open the first pack, but after not really making a lot of coins from it, I knew that if I wanted to purchase Usman, these packs were going to need to start to improve. English, CDM, from Arsenal, that's going to be Declan Rice and he has decent rating. And so for now, I would send him to the transfer list and then sell the rest of the items in this pack. I would then continue to open our market matchups packs, and unfortunately, we wouldn't make a lot of coins from them, but we were now down to our most valuable pack. Give me Williamson, French, centre back, from PSG, and we get an 84 rated Lucas Hernandez. And these high rated items were important because we were capable of selling them for a decent amount of coins. So by completing objectives we can get a lot of XP and level up in the season pass which will give us the players that we need to complete the SPCs. Knowing this, I made sure that I had the FC founder kit equipped but that's when I saw it. So our balls look like trash and so I'm going to purchase a new ball and playing with this ball is going to be a lot of fun. And having a lot of fun was going to be important because we had a lot of games to play and since we couldn't win games in rivals, the first game mode that I started to play in was the champions playoffs because along with being able to complete the objectives we could also earn some tradable packs. And so this is how our first game went. Oh no, he finds his Salah. We need better defenders. And although we also needed better attackers, we were fortunate to have Son. He's going to have to carry us. Because with only one 5 star skiller in the attack, it was tough for me to create opportunities. And so my plan was going to be to get another 5 star skiller to create more for Son, who scored literally everything. Son finds Rashford who's through. Can we score? Yes, Rashford scores. And our opponent forfeits as well and we just won our first game. Now, after playing that game, our players had sold. But since we still had one more advanced SPC to complete and the advanced SPCs in the last video gave us some really good items, I decided that with the coins that we now had, I was going to complete these advanced SPCs. And because we still had players in our club, completing the advanced SPCs didn't actually require a lot of coins. And this was good because the packs that we'd get back would help us to get a new centre back. And because our defence wasn't the greatest, we were going to need that. Okay, that's the final squad complete. And now we have some really good packs and we can hopefully pack some upgrades. Now, the first pack that opened was the least valuable and the item that we got from it wasn't that valuable either but the packs that would open would only increase in value portuguese striker we just packed the goat but as crazy as it sounds that's just fodder the next pack would be fodder as well and we're now down to our final two packs norwegian please be harlem cam we just got Odegaard, and he's 87 rated 
And in the final pack, we'd only pack an 83 rated item. Now at this point, with us only being able to complete an 85 rated squad, I knew that we were going to need to play a lot more games, and also make a lot more coins, because along with wanting to get Dembele and Theo, there was another attacker worth 200,000 coins that I believe would be the key to our success. Knowing this, and the fact that winning more games meant getting better rewards, I would play some more games in the qualifiers, and motivated, I would try my best to win. Now while playing these games, we were completing objectives, which would allow us to make more progress in the season pass, and after playing and winning a few, I saw that by purchasing a third English player and winning games with them in our team, we could get another high rated player. And so after setting up our team, I would continue to play more games in the qualifiers, and thanks to Guillermo and Ramirez being solid in the midfield, as well as Rashford and Son being incredibly dangerous in the attack, we were capable of winning game after game, until we got to the point where we just won our first 9 games in a row, and if we can win the last game that we have, we'll get the best possible rewards, giving us the best chance to make a lot of coins. And so we needed to win this game. But early on, I found out that it wasn't going to be easy. No, it falls to his Rodrigo and he scores. But we needed to make as many coins as possible, and so we couldn't afford to lose this game. Into Son, can he score from here? Son is the goat. We have Son on the wing, finds Gayoro, we shoot, it falls to Felipe Anderson, and we score. But after taking this lead, our opponent would have one more opportunity in this game. Gayoro, we have to tackle him. Good work. And because we defended well, we ended up winning this game, meaning that for the first time ever, we got rank 1 rewards from the Champions Playoffs. After playing those games, we had completed a lot of objectives as well, and we were getting items ranged from decent packs to decent amounts of XP, but because we were only 50 XP away from level 5 in the season pass, and at that level, we could get a decent reward, I decided to get that XP by earning some stars in the moments game mode, which allowed us to make it to level 5 and get a couple of decent packs. I then started off by opening the untradeable packs that we had, and from these packs, because we couldn't sell the players, my goal was to get high rated players for the SPC, but unfortunately, in the first few packs that we opened, we wouldn't get anything good. 81 times 2 pack, Jamaican striker from City, that's going to be an 85 rated card. After getting this item, the ratings of the players in the rest of our untradeable packs would decrease by 1 each time, and so on this downtrend, we were now left to our qualifier rewards, and hopefully this trend would change. First pack is going to be an 83 rated Acerbi, we need better than this. Although we are making a decent amount of coins right now, and with Dembele's price dropping by 4000 coins, we were getting closer to being able to afford him. German, right mid, from Bayern, we're getting an 84 rated card, so we can get a few thousand coins off of him, and even more from the rest of the items. Okay, we're up to 47,000 coins, and we need to make more. This is our best pack, Argentinian striker, Latoro Martinez, but it is going to be two walkouts, and that's Benzema, he's 90 rated. Oh, and there's some other decent rated players in here as well, and we have an inform, which will at least make us 10,000 coins. And so after sending the valuable items to our transfer list, I would quick sell the rest of the items in this pack, and because of the rating of the rest of the players that we had, we were set to make a lot of coins from these rewards. And before all of our players even sold, we had enough coins to purchase Usman Dembele, and so after adding him into our team, I saw that Theo was 44,000 coins, meaning that once Benzema sold, we would have enough coins to afford him. So our team is looking a lot better now, but even though we do have a better attack, I still want to purchase the king of 5 star skills, because Neymar will be the key to our success, but unfortunately, that means we're going to have to make 200,000 coins. Now because of this, and the fact that the games and rivals were still tough, because of the insane rewards that you can get, the Champions Finals was the best place for us to make these coins. I also knew that we were working towards completing high rated players, as well as objectives for XP that would allow us to bring us further in the season pass, and so with not much time left, I rushed into the Champions Finals, with my goal being to get 16 wins. Now in the first game that I played, although we would end up winning, we would concede a couple of goals, and the game ended up being too close for comfort, but because we were still waiting for Benzema to sell, we couldn't purchase Theo, and we had to use the lesser English left back anyway, if we wanted to complete the player item. Now in the next two games that I played, although we would continue to concede goals, the fact that we now had a better attack, meant that we could now create a lot more opportunities, and score a lot more goals ourselves, and after playing 3 games, we were 3-0 and in the Champions Finals. Okay, so we completed the objective, meaning that we don't need to use the English left back anymore, but since I can't wait for Benzema to sell, we're going to enter into another game before purchasing Theo, and initially, this decision seemed to be to my detriment. And after struggling to score against an incredibly tough opponent, although we did create more opportunities, it became clear that we were going to need Neymar, and because I wasn't capable of scoring, my opponent would end up taking advantage of this, and we would end up losing this game. So Benzema failed to sell, and so I'm going to list him as the cheapest one on the market, and there we go, he sells instantly. This of course meant that we could now afford to purchase Theo's card, and because we still had 35,000 coins after doing so, it meant that we needed to make 160,000 coins from our rewards, and so after adding Theo into our team, he was going to need to help us to get those rank 3 rewards, and I would enter back into the Champions Finals, and the first game back would go incredibly well. Felipe Anderson scores. 
because after scoring one, we would score a second and our opponent would rage quit, allowing us to pick up another win. We would then go into another game and even though we now had Theo, our centre backs still weren't the greatest. And so even though we were capable of equalising after conceding first in this game, we would ultimately end up losing it because our opponent would score a second goal. Now at this point, having two losses after only playing six games meant that achieving our goal was not going to be that likely. And so knowing that I needed to step up, within the next few games that I played, I would try my best to make the most of what I had with our players. And after playing 10 games, we had won 8 and lost 2, meaning that if we could repeat this, we would achieve our goal. And this is how our 11th game went. Rashford now, good skill, find Son, and that's an easy goal. But this was starting to frustrate me. No, we are defenders going, and we concede. Because after being taken to extra time, it seemed like no matter how many goals we scored, we would inevitably end up conceding more. And once all was said and done, we had lost another game. Now these games were really tough. And the fact that we ended up going to penalties in our next game would imply just that. Unfortunately, in this game, we would end up winning the penalty shootout. Now in the next game, we would go down by two goals early on, and this would cause us to lose this game. But at this point, we had lost four games, meaning that in order to achieve our goal, we couldn't afford to lose another one. But in our 14th game, it looked like losing was exactly what we were going to do. No way, he just chipped me. And he's going to celebrate. And after conceding the first, our incompetent defenders would cause us to concede a second. And he celebrates on me once again. But with our backs against the wall, we had to make a comeback in this game. Son, we need one more. And thanks to Son, one more is exactly what we would get. And after trying my best, it seemed like things were starting to turn around for us. Son is through, we have to score one on one. And he does in the near post. And now we can celebrate against this guy. But unfortunately, these celebrations would not be long lived. Because shortly after scoring this goal, my opponent would equalize the game. They would then get another opportunity. And after they scored it, we were back to square one. Rashford's through, we find him, we have to score now. And he does. And now that the game was equalized, it was up to us to take a lead. Son finds Rashford, and Rashford scores. And because our opponent left after this, it meant that we had won this game. Both how much we struggled in that game, I wasn't surprised when I ended up struggling in the next one. And after being outscored by my opponent, I would pick up another loss, meaning that achieving rank 3 rewards was no longer possible. Now because of this, I was frustrated, but the next two games would only amplify this frustration, because in both of these games, I would show that I was the better player, and because of this, our opponents would leave while the game was tied up to prevent me from getting the win. Now the free win that we got after this seemed to have caused me to calm down, because after receiving the free win, I would build on it by winning the next two games that I played in a row, and at this point, although we couldn't get rank 3 rewards, winning our next game would at least upgrade our rewards to rank 4. Please don't have a good team? No. No way. But this game was of utmost importance to us. Rashford finds Son. Yes, we have the lead. But if we wanted to win this game, we needed to defend even better than we attacked. Marquinhos close him down. How does he have Mbappe? And with the help of the Mbappe, they would take the lead against us late on. They would then start to time waste against me. And once again, I was starting to become a lot more frustrated. But after pressing them all and eventually winning the ball back in the 89th minute, we would have one more opportunity in this game. Son close him down. Yes, we equalize. But what happened next was the story of our champions finals. He finds Haaland off of the kickoff. Good tackle from Marquinhos, but it falls back to him. Good save. But it falls back to him again, and we concede in the 91st minute. And because of this, we would end up losing this final game, meaning that we only got rank 5 rewards, and our chances of making the coins that we needed to were a lot lower. Okay, let's start with our player picks, and we need high rated items. I love that. We just got Van Dyke! And even though he's not the highest rated, I'm taking Van Dyke because he's going to go straight into our team. Second player pick now, Cancelo. He's the best player that we get, so I'm going to take him. Final player pick. Oh, and we get Rudiger. After those insane player picks, I would claim the objectives that we had completed, and this would give me items ranging from decent packs and high rated players to season pass XP, allowing me to level up and get even more rewards compared from our tradable packs that we had from the Champions Finals. And I would start off by opening up the untradable packs in our store. First two untradable packs have been really bad, but can we get something good from our final one? Nigerian striker, which has got Aussie men, and he's 88 rated as well. But before doing anything with these items, I would start to open open our tradable packs. Cringe. Striker, please be Mbappe. No, that's just going to be like a Z. We would then pack a tradable Gundogan and Laporte in our next pack, but because we had 78,000 coins and we still needed to make a lot to get Neymar, I sold our tradable center back and upgraded that position with our untradable Van Dijk. And then I also listed Laporte as well as Gundogan, which made purchasing Neymar a lot more realistic, but we still needed to make a fair chunk of coins from our final tradable pack. Come on. French once again, right wing, from PSG, we just got Usman. And because he was worth 67,000 coins at the time of recording, this was an absolutely incredible pull. After selling him, I quick sold the rest of the contents in this pack, and at 142,000 coins, with some decent players on our transfer list, we were in a good position. 
So our players have sold and we now have 220,000 coins and we can now afford to purchase Neymar. But it was at this point when I noticed a massive problem. Okay, let's replace Felipe Anderson. Oh, but Neymar's gonna have no chemistry and Son can't go to the striker position. And there was one solution to this problem because while this Son could not go to the striker position, he did have a couple of versions that could. The only problem was it would require an arm and a leg to be able to afford him. Now Rashford was tradable and he was worth roughly 100,000 coins. But even with this, we were still nowhere near to being able to afford one of his cards. Now he did have a striker SPC but with it being incredibly expensive and expiring soon, there was no way they would be able to complete it. On top of this, he wasn't as much of an upgrade as a new centre back would be. And because of the fact that we got Van Dyke, admit that we only needed to complete one of them. But before trying to do that, I would complete the UEFA market matchups, giving us tradable packs as a Hail Mary attempt to get the coins that I needed to be able to purchase on. But after completing it and not making that many coins from the packs that we got back, I knew that for now we would not be able to fix this issue. But our attack was still miles better nonetheless. So they released a 100 players pack, and because the final upgrade that I want to make is completing one of the centre backs, I'm going to complete it. But because it only required an 84 and an 83 rated squad, this was an incredible way for us to convert our mid tier rated players into a pack that gave us a really good chance of packing some high rated items. Okay, here we go. 40 gold rare players in this pack, and we're getting a German cam from Bayern. But it is going to be two walkouts, and it's an 87, but that means the next one's high rated, and it's Benzema, who obviously has an absolutely insane rating. Oh, we also have a team of the week and another walkout in this pack. This was such good value. At this point, I had to decide between the two centre backs, and because in the long run, Block would be better for chemistry, I attempted to complete his most expensive squad. So with all of our high rated items, we're not far, but we can't afford Blanc's most expensive squad. Now this caused me to check our season pass progress, but it also caused me to see that there were a bunch of objectives that I had missed and forgotten to claim, and these objectives were giving me some decent packs. We're getting some really good packs right now, and if we just score 18 more goals, we can get even more. Knowing this, and the fact that we did have a better team now, I was curious to see if we could push further in division rivals, and although I would lose the first game that I played, I wasn't disappointed because there were signs of promise. And these signs was the fact that Van Dijk was solid at the back line, even though it was clear that he was going to need a better partner, and also the fact that Neymar was an absolutely insane player. Because when using this item, it literally felt like I was playing a different game, and because he complemented my playstyle perfectly, I knew that he was a player that I was going to find a lot of success with. Now after losing the first, I would go into a second game, which would confirm to me that Neymar was indeed the key to our success, and with our attack now being a lot better, I knew that if we could just get our hands on Blanc, we could win a lot more in division rivals. So before I play another game of rivals, I want to have Blanc in my team, and so I'm going to claim some of the objectives that were completed, and now we have a decent bit of a pack opening, and we need to get high rated items, but the first one's not going to be that. The next pack would be an 83 rated, and the pack after that would be an 84 rated card, and so it seemed like the packs were just getting better. Spanish, sentiment, from Barca, Alexio please! Oh, it's just going to be Gavi. And we would continue to get baited, or would we? French, center back, Kunde please! No way! And we would continue to get baited, or would we? Dutch, Center back, no way, please be Van Dijk. No way, I think we got him. Yes, we just packed another Van Dijk. But because this one was a duplicate, we needed to make a commitment. So with this Van Dijk, we can't afford Blanc's higher squad. And because Vidic looked so good, I spent a few minutes contemplating whether or not I should do Blanc. But understanding that in the long run, he would be the better decision, I ended up submitting the squad. I could then open a final and tradable pack, which did give me an 84 rated card. And after that, we had a tradable pack that we got from completing Blanc's squad. But unfortunately, we'd only make a few thousand coins from it. So we need more high rated players now and there's an upgrade SPC available. On top of this, along with this upgrade SPC, there was an objective that rewarded you with more packs back for completing it and since we had accumulated so many low rated gold cards throughout our time playing on this account, I decided that I would invest them here. And so at this point, I would spend the next 15 minutes completing this upgrade SPC as many times as I possibly could and once we were done, we completed the upgrade SPC 22 times and we're gonna get some decent packs for doing that. Now these packs would give us players that we could use in upgrade SPCs in the future and after opening the first two upgrade packs, already in our third one. Norwegian, please be Haaland. Cam. That's going to be Odegaard once again. We had already packed the walkout. The next four upgrade packs wouldn't give us anything special, but in the fifth upgrade pack that we opened, Uruguayan center back, please be Araujo, we would get baited once again. I then continue opening these packs, and from the next patch, although we wouldn't get anything crazy, we did get an 83 rated in form, which could help us later on, but eventually, we got to the point where we only had five packs left. Now the first pack that I opened from this point would not be that great, and so far, these packs weren't looking worth it. Norwegian, that's going to be Odegaard once again. And it is, but an 87 rated is not bad. Now there wasn't our last pack, and since he was a duplicate, to open the rest, we needed to complete another squad. But since we couldn't afford to complete the 86 rated squad, I would use him to complete the next best one, which was the 85 rated squad. We got a terrible pack from some within that squad, and it's going to be a Dutch, sent mid, please be from Barca. Yes, we just got the young. And because it was an 87 rated card, we made roughly 20,000 coins from this pack. But let's not get our hopes too high. Upgrading Son still looked out of the picture. And because we had gotten rid of the duplicate, we could open the final three packs that we had. 
that, but unfortunately, these packs would all be trash. But because I wanted an accurate idea of how far away we were from completing Blanc, I started to complete these cheaper squads, and we were capable of completing four of them with the Inform Isco that we packed coming in clutch in the fourth one. So the highest rated squad that we can build is 85, so we can't complete Blanc's 86 rated squad, but because we're not far away from him, and we're also not far away from the next level in the season pass, which will give us an incredible pack, I'm going to try to get the XP. Now at the time, the only way of doing this was by winning four games in the Centurions Cup, and because you only got four games per day, this meant that we couldn't afford to lose one, and so because of this, and the fact that we didn't need to score that many goals to get our hands on another two decent packs, I added the lone version of Blanc into our team, and then I started to play these games, and this guy made all the difference. Because for those of you who don't know, your matchmaking in the friendlies game mode is based on your rank within division rivals, but even though we were playing against people who were in the division that we were struggling to get out of, we were still capable of winning these games, and because we won the first three games that we played in a row, it meant that by the time we had one game left, we were one win away from getting the XP that we needed. And so this is how that game went. Rashford now, good turn, into Neymar. And Neymar has been insane for us. But at this level, switching off for one second could cause you to get punished. Now I moved the wrong way. And he scores against us. But like I said, I believe that this player would be the key to our success. No way we score from here? He's such a good addition to our team. But this player didn't like other players stealing their spotlight. Son? No way, that's such a good goal. Now after this, our opponent Sala would score from outside of the box. But even though we were only up by one goal, and our opponent was incredibly tough, our upgraded defense allowed us to hold them out, and this would result in us winning this game. Okay, so we got the XP, and we're getting two decent packs from the cup objective, and now we have to make a decision, and I think I'm going to go with more players. I then opened the cup objective packs, and these packs weren't the greatest, but now we had our level 9 season pass reward. Norwegian, please be Holland. And once again, we're gonna get Odegaard. And once again, because he was a duplicate, we needed to complete the squad. But because we couldn't afford the 86 rated one, I would use him to complete the 84 rated squad. And with only one more squad left, we were so close. Okay, so we only need to score four more goals, and doing that will get us two decent packs, and so we're gonna have to do this in rivals. And so could we score four goals in only one game? Well, Neymar thought so. And what was surprising to me was how many goals he could score against tough players, because these players were tough. And after we scored two, our opponent would score two back. Dembele through to Giuro, into Son, and we score in an open net. And so with not much time left, we only needed to score one more goal. Neymar Neymar scores a hat-trick and gets us our 4th goal. After scoring the 4th, Neymar would assist Son, who scored our 1st goal in this game, showing that although we conceded goals, our attack was good enough to be able to score, and this would be the factor that allowed us to win this game. So for scoring 100 goals in this video, we're getting another 2 really good packs, and since we're not far from the 86 rated squad, these could be the last packs that we need to open. Belgium? No, it's not De Bruyne, that's only going to be an 84 rated Lukaku. Final pack now, I'm expecting at least a walkout. German? Right mid? No, that's only going to be an 85 rated card. Oh, but they have released an 85 plus upgrade, and you can do it twice, and since it only costs an 83 rated squad, I'm going to complete it. And because it wasn't that expensive, it was a good way of converting our mid range items into even higher rated items. First pack now. French, center mid. I think that's going to be Geuro, and she is absolutely insane, but we have an even better version of her in our team. Second pack, Norwegian, let me guess that's going to be... Oh, it's a left winger from Chelsea, and that's a really good card, and she's 88 rated. And with these items, we could complete the final squad, but there was one problem. So to complete the squad, we have to use Felipe Anderson, but he's quite an expensive player, and so I don't want to do this. Unfortunately for us, we didn't have to do this, because for not that much more XP, we could get an 85 rated card. And so when looking at the objectives, I saw that if we could win two out of the four games that we now had in the cup, we could get that XP. Now with this being the same opponents as we had in Rivals, the games would be really tough, and although we won the first game that we played we ended up losing the second one but we only needed to win one more game neymar what a turn into son and this is an insane duo but unfortunately there was nothing much we could do about this no son is so good but with our skillful attackers we would fight right back neymar is a man that i'm in love with and after this man intercepted the ball and scored a third goal for us in this game our opponent would rage quit meaning that we had completed the objective now because we had four games i would go into the fourth one and with the momentum on my side i would end up winning it and we now had some rewards to claim okay we got a player pick from the cup objective and we're only going to get an 83 rated card in it but because we had level 10 in the season pass we're going to get an 85 rated card and this card is going to be incredibly important because it's going to allow us to save felipe anderson and so just like that we now have our first icon on this account but it's not just any icon it's one of the best center backs in the game and so although we lost a good amount of men these were the legends that survived on the bench and after we added an insane icon into our team i can't believe the team that we put together in just under 11 days but unfortunately because it took us such a lot of time to complete blanc it meant that with the amount of time that we had left at best we could only make it into division 4 and so this became my new goal 
but unfortunately with this new team it seemed like we were having some teething issues but even though this was the case because of the attack that we had built i was capable of playing on another level and i would equalize this game at this point against this opponent who was incredibly tough it would be our now incredible defense that allowed us to stay in this game and this gave our attackers the platform to shine neymar into usman finds rashford who gives us the lead and just as i expected this man would be the key to our success neymar finds usman who scores the easiest goal of his life and winning this game allowed us to pick up a win streak and we were now past the first checkpoint but it was in the next game when i realized something because in this game although we were capable of scoring two goals and it did look like we were the better player our opponent was incredibly experienced and so using that combined with the dark arts within this game which in this case came in the form of a kick of glitch our opponent was capable of equalizing and tying the game against us and so this realization was that with the new season and everybody being pushed back a couple of divisions we were technically playing against the highest quality opponents it's so after having this realization i knew that to make it into division 4 i was going to have to play my best and because we had put together a team that complemented the way we play i was comfortable when using it and it would be this comfortability that allowed me to win the next three games that i played in a row at this point i would find an incredibly tough opponent and in this game my opponent would score not one but two goals against me meaning that if i wanted to win i needed to make a comeback Kyoro into son son with the step overs yes that's one back and after scoring that goal i believed that i could make this comeback and i started to apply tons of pressure onto this opponent and dominate the game as well and at this point i knew that i could win this game but i needed to start by equalizing neymar he moves his keeper and his keeper messes up but we score wait he's paused the game no way he knew he was going to lose so he leaves while the game is tied now fortunately this didn't cause us to lose our win streak but it definitely did frustrate me and it was not ideal to play in this headspace against the quality of opponents that we were facing and this was evident by the fact that we'd end up throwing the next game and then losing our win streak now after learning my lesson i would continue to play and as i started to understand our players even more i would grow a strong connection to them and have a lot of fun playing with them as well and playing in this good spirit allowed me to win the next two games that i played in a row okay we're on a win streak and with only 15 minutes left we have to win the last game that we play and in the very next game i would find an absolutely insane team but even though this player had an insane team we would still dominate and look like the player who was more likely to score however after applying loads of pressure onto this opponent only 10 minutes into the game is that going out yeah okay he's made a bad pass and we have a throw in no way he leaves while the game is tied and they've been playing since 2014 and so although we were in the same position we now had a lot less time and we needed to win our last game oh we just found the same exact opponent and this time they decided to stay son we get tackled but rashford wins the ball back and he forces dembele dembele scores we have the lead and now the only way we wouldn't win is if our opponent could score a goal after which they would probably leave but our defenders were not having any of it but for safety purposes i wanted to have a two goal lead and i knew that this player would be the key to our success dashford finds son into neymar who scores and at this point i wanted to do as much damage to my opponent as i could rashford we go in and rashford scores and don't worry we didn't forget about him son is a legend and our opponent rage quits and beating this opponent allowed me to achieve my goal and earn promotion into the next division and if you guys enjoyed this video you'll enjoy one of these ones so go ahead and click on any of those videos to watch them